Hi, this is Kim at the Hypertufa Gardener, and as promised, we've got a, a film here about planting that big round Hypertufa bowl that they, I made in my last video. We've chosen a place to put it here and its companion, so let's get started and we'll show you how we've planted that up. Now the plant that I picked, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, is a Campanula porsharskiana. It's Serbian bellflower, and I got that on the clearance rack at Lowe's. Um, you can get some really good deals right now, midsummer. It was a $15, I think that was a gallon size container, and I got it for $5 you want to really look these over and make sure you're getting a good healthy plant but this one in particular suited my needs it's a low growing plant from four to seven inches high spread 16 inches mounding it sounded like a perfect plant for my hypertufa especially this big round bowl where it could da dangle off the sides and everything so I snapped that up now again if you look at them just be sure to look over the plant now this one you can see it does have some spent blooms that are dying and going to seed so just be sure to pop those off when you plant it and kind of trim it and prune it up basically what you're doing is deadheading it just as you would if it was growing in your own yard but um, I cleaned these up and um, snipped them and everything. See, it's a real pretty little purple-blue flower, star shape. I really, really like it. Check the undersides of the leaves. Make sure there's no bug infestation, nothing like that. And be sure to look down into the plant to make sure there's no, what I call hitchhikers, some other little tiny plant that'll get into your garden. So just make sure you're getting a good deal, not a bargain that you'll regret later. Now here I'm going to uh, mix up some soil. I'm going to go over to my little container shed here and uh, pick out one of the bowls so that I can mix up a pan of soil. I got a lot of uh, pots and pans out here, molds that I use for my hypertufa. And I'm grabbing a big dish here so I've got a lot of room to spread everything out in it. But I'll go over here into the garden shed where I have my tub. Oh, look at my walls. Be sure to watch that video if you've not seen that. But I've got an old laundry tub here that I use for my potting soil. And my husband made me this lid for it. That way if I leave my uh, lid off, I don't have to worry about cat skinning in it or varmints of any kind. Now, this morning I'm uh, filming with just myself, so I've got to put the camera down while I uh, get this soil loaded up into the dish pan. But I've got a big scoop here that I can ladle um, a lot of soil into this dish pan. Now I try to shoot for too much rather than too little because I don't want to have to go back and mix up more. But you probably know that you need to save time by doing that too. Because when I'm done with it, I can always just go back and put it back into the main soil pan. Now I do still mix sand with this uh, topsoil mix that I have. Now if I was planting a succulent, I'd put probably twice as much sand or more but I'm just stirring that sand into my soil so that I'll have a real good free draining mix. That way, no worries, if we have a lot of rain, I can always water uh, when there's not rain. But I'll get that all mixed up. Love my little setup here. I've got a little tiny bench there that I can put my bowl on when I mix up. Now 
Now I worry about when I prop the camera up myself and I'm doing this myself that I don't even have the camera on. But in this case, yeah, I did or you wouldn't be seeing any picture. So I've got to remember to stay organized so I get my lid back, put it back on, fits real nicely, doubles as a peat moss sifter too. You can put it over a wheelbarrow to um, sift your peat moss. Potting bench and I've got my soil there. I of course use a coffee filter to put over the drainage hole that we've drilled in the bottom. I'm just drilling one drainage hole and then I'll go ahead to dump all the potting mix down in here. And it looks like I've calculated just about right because it fills it up nicely I like a good full pot. It'll also be displaced a little bit by the soil in the um, potting container. So this looks like it's just going to be just about right. I do have help here. My husband's helping me film. Um, else you'd probably see the camera shaking where it's propped on the table. But he's helping me this time. I still have to act as director too to tell him where to point the camera and everything but you're not hearing that portion of it now I've pulled this out of the the pot the um, bellflower I've pulled it out of the pot and I'm kind of breaking it up it's not compacted the roots aren't compacted like you might find in some plants that um, are on this clearance rack but this one is still very loose the roots appear here very um, healthy and everything so I'm just breaking away a lot of that soil because obviously I wouldn't want to plant it um, too high in this pot but the roots are kind of shallow so I've kind of scraped out a depression there in the center where I want this plant to um, sit and I'm just kind of gonna twist it in there You can see I place it in the spot where it's going to go and just kind of place it down in there firmly so that I know it's uh, attaching to the surrounding soil. We don't want any air pockets or anything like that, but it looks just perfect. I've got it at about the same soil height and all that leftover soil that we pulled out of it can now be its top dressing to just get all the soil built up and leveled. Just press it in, lift up those long trailing branches. Love those long trailing branches. They're going to be perfect for this pot. But um, just, you know, get your soil all level use as much as of it as you need to. You may have some left over, but we can always keep the leftover soil. Just put it back in your plant bin. Now this looks pretty good. I will be pruning a little more. You can see some of the fresh blossoms on this one and then there are also some of the spent ones that I will be trimming but I'll kind of swivel it around so you can get a good look. I'm pulling away all the cut edges and the little sprigs and twigs so that we don't have anything rotting down on the plant right now. Kind of try to give it a really good start here at the beginning. But we've got this all potted up. I'll be giving it a drink of water after we get it in place. I don't want it to be too heavy for my husband to carry because he's going to be here to carry. There are scissors here and I am going to trim off 
the spent buds and the little branches that are too long and trailing just to kind of give it a little cleanup before we actually take it over and put it in place. And I'm trying to cut off as, as much as I can see, but leave the ones that are still blooming to keep it real pretty because of course I want it to look nice. Now I've had this type of plant that companion was before. I've had the, the other version, um, Blue Clips I think is the one I have, but that's not the uh, Porsche Schiana. That's the other one with that weird Serbian name. But um, I have it up in the rock garden. And I see, I do have a piece in one of my pots. I'm gonna have to look that up and make some pictures of that for the uh, Facebook page. But um, meanwhile, I'm getting this all trimmed up and all ready to plant. I'm sorry, all ready to place in its spot. I've kind of got a spot picked out that I want for it, but I showed you that there at the beginning of the video. Now this looks pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it. And mostly those are just the dead dry ends that um, I would have picked off anyway if it had been growing all spring. Next we'll need to get it in place. got a small cart here that I first thought I was going to try to wheel that over to the garden, but that's not going to work. Uh, I'm going to need the big wagon to pull over. Just no way that I can get that over there on that little cart. So we got the wagon and it's my uh, potting bench is over on one side of the house and my sunny garden is on the opposite side of the house. So my husband's towing this over and I think we had a little misunderstanding or maybe I changed my mind, but don't let him hear me say that. But um, he was taking it over to set on one of the tree stumps on that fence side, but I don't want it there. I want it here next to the big T-Rex hypertufa that I've got. I've put in place one of those uh, half half cement block pieces here. It's, I think it's about an eight by eight or 10 by 10. And I have another one on, on the other side that I'm gonna put the other bowl on um, that we made at the same time. But my husband's okay, placing this for me. I think it's gonna look really, really good there. Um, big pot next to a big rectangular pot. Thank you, husband, for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed the video seeing this get potted up. Now, let's hope I don't change my mind and want it in another spot. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. I love it when you share my videos.